break with tradition a little bit. I'm going to do something on the front deck because it's uh, 35 degrees Celsius right now. So I won't be going into the woods today, but I wanted to show you where I was kind of headed with this bit driver from Leatherman, or the ratchet driver, and these little bits I got on Amazon. Um, that video is up here somewhere, or wherever it is. I got a piece of birch here. I'm just going to cut it, see if I can do the whole thing with the Leatherman. It is wickedly hot. It's been 35 degrees Celsius for five straight days and I'm probably losing my mind right now. I don't know when the last time I actually slept. I don't have AC in my house. I don't have AC in my car. It's all bad. You know, I've always said this for years. Give me minus minus 40 with no power and I could probably survive. Uh, okay, so let's try the next phase. I'm gonna cut this here. It's pro probably about, I don't know, three and a half inches, you know, two by four, whatever. Hard old birch. Yeah, so I just wanted to do something a little bit different. I was definitely seeing pixies when I was going up that mountain last week. <clears throat> okay, I would say we're about three inches. So, yeah, this is pretty hard birch. Now you can see I've got some, some nice powder here as well. Maybe I'll hold on to that see where that goes. I don't think I need the saw anymore. Uh, on this particular wave I did a little bit of a mod. I put the 154 cm in there from an older uh, charge. Yeah this is uh, very dry. It's probably a dead branch. So this might be a good test. I was actually hoping to split this down the middle with this wave as well. Yeah, that's right. Baton. I don't think it would damage it. I don't think I will do it. Only because this is a really hard piece of wood. And, uh... Alright, let's just clean up the corner a little bit. You can hear that breeze. It's blowing hot air around. You'd think it's actually cooling, right? But that's a negative. It is not blowing cool air. Well, let's do this here as well. I think if I was in the woods right now and I was gonna make some toggles, I wouldn't be using uh, the birch. I'd probably be looking for some pine or some spruce, a little bit softer. But I think for the intent of this video, this is a quick video. Well, how quick, I don't know. Okay, so let's call that done. Let's put away the blade. Let's bring into service the uh, bit driver holder. We'll take out the little bit. We'll put in the Leatherman ratchet driver. And I think for this one, I'm going to use the 3 16 bit. 3 16 And uh, go back to that video if you like, if you want dimensions on these bits. So let's see what it looks like with a little bit of force. I'm going to try using the pistol grip this time. I'm going to try this grip and try the force that way. Let's see how it works. If I was to do this in the woods, I would probably have a longer stick, so I got something to hold on to, and then cut it at the very end. It 
So far, so good. Gravity is doing the work. I'm putting some pressure downwards in my pistol grip, as you could probably see. Try and give you a better angle. Nice little curls coming out of there. Probably could use that in fire starting. And the birch. Oh, there you go. That was fast. That was way faster than... Um, let's turn the... Uh, that was way faster than using the auger on the... Uh, not the auger, but the... Uh, the awl on the Swiss Army knife or on the surge. Look at that. It's a perfect hole. Uh, let's do that one again. Let's do another one on the other end. This is a wicked idea. I think this is going to work really good. If anybody else has done this video on YouTube, um, I am not by any means stealing your idea. This came to me. I did search before I did any videos. I did see nothing on this. I did see a lot of destruction of the Leatherman bit driver videos. And that's pretty much it. I haven't seen anybody do this yet. Man, this is fast and quick and clean. Let's try it in this angle here. This is even better. It's not taking about it's not taking out as much wood. But you can really control. Yeah. Yeah. As you can tell, I'm pretty happy with this. This is a little bit of kit that is going to be coming with me all the time. Um, let's try that again. No, I'm not editing. Let's just take that out. Perfect. I want you to see how long it took to make that toggle and so many other uses, right? So this is just a really fast video. Hard birch, old, probably dead birch. And it just rifled right through there. Uh, we've got some nice shavings out of the entire, out of the entire thing. Uh, okay, I'm gonna pause this video and uh, we're gonna take it to the next level. Okay, I just went to grab a uh, magnifying glass. Yeah, I'm in the shade right now, but like I said, it's 35 degrees, but we're gonna play around in a second. And let's just take this whole experiment to a new level. Let's try taking out the bit, putting it away so we don't lose it. I'll probably make a little pouch or something for this. This is awesome. And the bit driver is awesome. Let's put that aside. Let's uh, deploy the, let's deploy the saw once again. Let's bring it back into this video. Where are you, saw? I came, I saw. Okay, so these are little shavings that we acquired along our little project. Okay, so yeah, I knew it would work. So let's put this out. And just for fun, while we're still on this video, let's uh, see if we can start it with this blazing, melting heat. Okay, so let's keep this experiment going here. Got a magnifying glass. Let's see what happens. There it goes. Now, putting an ember right now into a uh, mushroom, like, you know, those really dry ones, those horse, horse hoofs, see on the side of the trees, would be no problem right now at 35 degrees. Let's move the, uh, there you go. Getting an ember started would not be a problem. Yeah, it's working pretty good. I'd say overall, this short little video has given me lots of food for thought 
I hope it's helped you explore your imagination a little bit. You guys have a super fantastic day. Bye for now.